Sylvie from Sylvie Arts. How are you all? Today I'm going to show you a Dutch pour on my 40 by 40 centimeter square canvas with deep edges. As you have seen, I've already um, colored my sides with blue cerulean blue color and my base is also going to be with the same color cerulean blue so for this one this dutch pour i plan to make puddles of different shades of blue i have used Payne's gray so all, all um, this is the darker color this is not a blue obviously but this is a dark gray color a darker version and i am going to be using my Thalo blue, that's a dark blue. Oh, and some more blues that I have used is a turquoise. My turquoise blue, these are for the, for the puddles. Small tiny puddles I'm going to be making in the middle. And my primary cyan, my primary cyan blue color as well. So different shades of blue, I think this one is a little bit darker. Maybe we need to make it a little bit thinner and my titanium white and a bit of my silver so to begin with i want to base coat my canvas with my blue cerulean color first i'm going to start with that first and so bear with me i'll get back to you and we'll get started from there hi there i'm back so to begin with i have base coated and coated the sides of my canvas with this lovely cerulean blue color and now i'm going to start making different puddles small puddles of different colors i'm going to start by using the darker colors first so i'm going to be using my Payne's gray and make small tiny puddles with my different colors that I have mixed in the middle very carefully oops okay then I'm going to have my pale blue I might need maybe one more blob here Okay, oops. So this is what happens, you know, sometimes you have tiny drops of paint everywhere. It's okay. We'll get that covered. Okay. Now, then I'm going to be using my nice and lovely primary cyan. I have to really check the colors because there's lots of different kinds of shades of blue I'm using today. And hopefully they should all come out nice. Okay, after this I'm going to be using my turquoise, turquoise blue. It's a lovely color. Before I start, I also need to, I can see lots and lots of air bubbles. So I have to make sure I blow these bubbles out. Again, moving on to my Payne's Gray, just a tiny bit, not too much. Already I've dripped a couple of dots. Okay, yeah. So moving on to my white just going to have a little blob here white and then I'm just going to drizzle it like this just have a nice little drizzles of white paint maybe one in the middle okay now also got my lovely gray here let's see what other colors we can use I really love this this blue here Taylor blue Beautiful color. So you can do it the way you like. I'm doing it my way. You can choose 
any different kind of layering. It's up to you. Okay. A little bit of more white. And I'm going to just drizzle my silver hair like this. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Now, just going to have a bit of this base color on one side because I'm going to just blow it, blow it over. I think it's too much I've used. But let's see, so I'm going to blow it over this side and then I'm going to blow the paint in different directions. Now, as I've already got lots of paint here, I don't need to put any more paint on this side. This side is enough because if I do that, my paints are going to get muddy. So let's blow it out. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Now, beautiful. I can see lovely cell reactions here because I've used different paints, different colors, uh, different brands. Now, I'm going to move this way and in other directions as well. So let's start. enough I don't want to blow out too much otherwise I'm going to lose all of these cells um, I just need to blow a little bit with my mouth now I just have to turn it a little bit like this this way I need to reach this side like a nice flower a nice big blue flower really happy with it I need to reach this side now to blow the paints a little bit now I think that's enough just use a little bit of my I like to use my fingers for a little artistic touch to it. But if you like, you can do it. It's up to you if you want to try some different, more blowing out or just leave it like that. It looks pretty. Happy with it. Looks amazing. So I'm going to share my dried result with you. I hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a like or leave some comments in the comment section do you like this painting maybe if you would use any other base colors what other base colors would you like to use what different um, colors of puddles would you like to use different contrasts maybe we can have a different background with these blues and whites and silver so try it out, have a go and see what do you come up with. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye now. Hi everyone. So this is the dried result of this big bloom painting. I think it's amazing. Look at those details. Beautiful colors beautiful cells i'm really really pleased with this one i think it came out really nice amazing i love it look at the details beautiful so i hope you like it as much as i do 
Thank you once again. Thank you for watching. Bye now.